Are you interested in studying at the Northern Ontario School of Medicine? In this video, you'll learn everything you need to know about the Northern Ontario School of Medicine's admission statistics, eligibility, tuition costs, selection factors, and tips on how to get accepted. Hi, my name is Joseph Kafka, and I'm an admissions associate here at BMO. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe on whatever social media channel you're watching this from so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming videos. And if you would like us to help you with your medical school application, click on the link either above or below this video to schedule your free initial consultation. And as a quick tip, check out the timestamps in the description of this video to navigate the specific sections of the video that you're interested in. In this video, we're going to cover the following topics about Northern Ontario School of Medicine, eligibility, tuition costs and funding opportunities, academic curriculum, application process and timeline, recommended coursework, GPA, MCAT and CASPER, autobiographical sketch, supplementary questions, reference letters, interview format, selection process, and acceptance and waitlist information. Now, let's get started. The Northern Ontario School of Medicine, or NOSM, is one of the six medical schools in Ontario. This MD program promotes the medical and educational interests of urban, rural, and remote Northern Ontario communities by welcoming Anglophone and Francophone applicants from all over Canada. Here's their mission statement. The Northern Ontario School of Medicine's mission is to contribute to improving the health of the people and communities of Northern Ontario by advancing the highest quality of medical practice, learning, teaching, research, and professionalism. Here's some quick information about the Northern Ontario School of Medicine. Their overall acceptance rate is 3.2%. 92% of their matriculants are from Northern Ontario. Their GPA average is 3.86. MCAT and CASPER are not required. And finally, they are located in Thunder Bay and Sudbury, Ontario. To apply to Northern Ontario School of Medicine, you must be a Canadian citizen or a permanent resident of Canada. Although in-province applicants are not given a preference in the admissions process, your geographical and cultural background is taken into consideration. NOSM does have an algorithm that they employ to calculate context scores. Although this algorithm is not made public, NOSM does aim to admit students whose profile reflects the demographics of the population of Northern Ontario, which includes Indigenous, Francophone, and Franco-Ontario students. One of the ways that NOSM achieves this is by assigning a context score to each applicant. Context is a score based on each of the following geographic or cultural criteria. Rural background based on years lived in a rural community anywhere in Canada that is defined using the Statistics Canada classification of communities. Northern background based on years lived in Northern Ontario or another Canadian Northern region. Self-identified Francophone applicants. Indigenous applicants who apply through the NASM Indigenous application stream. Your Northern Ontario School of Medicine tuition will depend on which university you attend for the MD program, Lakehead or Laurentian University. The average annual tuition for each university's MD program is between $24,000 and $25,000, with the tuition being slightly cheaper for Francophone students. These costs also include student and incidental fees. The Northern Ontario School of Medicine has developed a series of mechanisms that will help you decrease your medical school costs. Here are some of those opportunities. In your first and second year, accommodations and travel reimbursements are provided for modules that are completed outside of your home campus. Your third year at NOSM consists of comprehensive community clerkships, or CCC, in a community outside Sudbury and Thunder Bay. You can claim reimbursements of up to $9,000 which is subject to change through NOSM. Your fourth year at NOSM consists of clerkships, which include rotations at hospitals in Sudbury or Thunder Bay and electives. You may be eligible to participate in the clerkship stipend program through NOSM on behalf of the Ministry of Health and Long-Term Care, which provides a stipend of $9,000 for their final year of medical school. Make sure to check out NOSM's financial aid website to get more information about provincial, territorial, and external funding opportunities. The Northern Ontario School of Medicine MD curriculum consists of three phases. Phase one takes place over the first two years of the MD program and is organized around 11 case-based modules 
each covering a major body system. This program aims to prepare students for life and practice in any Northern location. So the written cases in each module are situated in remote, rural, urban, or Indigenous settings. During Phase 1, you will most likely be located in your assigned host university, Lakehead or Laurentian, with a four-week Indigenous community placement in the first year, and two four-week rural and remote community placements in the second year. Year 2 includes a six-week elective block. This phase is dedicated to an eight-month Longitudinal Comprehensive Community Clerkships, or CCC. During this phase, you're assigned to live and learn in large rural and small urban communities in Northern Ontario, excluding Sudbury and Thunder Bay. You will also have the opportunity to participate in a variety of clinical learning activities within the community, as well as engage in peer group learning sessions, including virtual academic rounds, or VARs, and Distributed Topic Sessions DTS. You will undertake reflective research projects based on the needs and dynamics of your host communities. Electives are also included in this phase. This phase takes place in the Academic Health Science Centres in either Thunder Bay or Sudbury, and is organized around a series of specialty clerkship rotations. Surgery, Internal Medicine, Children's Health, Women's Health, Mental Health, and Emergency Medicine You'll be exposed to various specialties and subspecialties with opportunities to experience medicine in different settings through elective experiences. In order to apply to NASM, you'll need to use the Ontario Medical School Application Service or OMSAS. Check out our blog for a general timeline and don't forget to check out the OMSAS official website for the most up-to-date information. Let's go over some important admissions requirements that you need to fulfill to become a competitive candidate for the Northern Ontario School of Medicine. Like many medical schools in Canada, NOSM does not identify any specific medical school prerequisites that students must complete to be eligible candidates for the MD program. NOSM does not give preference to any particular discipline over another. However, the minimum medical school requirement is a four-year undergraduate university degree or equivalent. NOSM has a minimum medical school GPA requirement. You must achieve a minimum of 3.0 on the 4.0 scale. Your letter or numerical grades will be converted to a 4.0 scale according to the OMSAS undergraduate grading system conversion table. It will be extremely helpful to you to check the previous year's matriculants GPA. So if you're worried about your GPA, check out our blog to get some tips on how to get into medical school with a low GPA and many other resources. All the links are in the description. Remember, the MCAT and CASPER tests are not required for admissions. The Northern Ontario School of Medicine seeks applicants who have a genuine interest in helping to fulfill their mandate and uphold NOSM's values. It might be a good idea to review the program's description and their mission statement before you compose your autobiographical sketch or ABS. The criteria that NOSM stresses include, but are not limited to the following. A demonstrated interest in living and working in Northern Ontario and or rural remote areas in the rest of Canada. Demonstrated interest in working with underserviced populations, no matter where they are. An ability to identify community needs and a willingness to play a part in fulfilling those needs. A demonstrated interest in cross-cultural experiences. Employment, volunteer, and extracurricular experiences, these are all equally valued. Additionally, you'll need to select three of the entries you listed in your autobiographical sketch and explain how they specifically prepared you for being a medical student at the Northern Ontario School of Medicine. In addition to the ABS, you'll be required to answer the following four supplementary questions. Please describe how you've developed resilience and coping mechanisms. How will you utilize these skills to support yourself during your medical training in making informed and rational decisions when faced with difficult circumstances? Please describe any experience you've had interacting with individuals from backgrounds different from yours. How would this experience translate to working within a healthcare environment and or with patients? What types of feedback do you prefer to enhance your learning in and outside of academic environments and why? NASM's social accountability mandate is to improve the health of the people and the communities of Northern Ontario. So it will be important to describe how you plan to embody this mandate as a medical student and future physician and how this has factored into your decision to apply to NASM. You cannot submit traditional medical school recommendation letters through OMSAS. 
The Northern Ontario School of Medicine requires three referees to complete a confidential assessment form for your OMSAS application. You should select referees who know you very well and are in a position to demonstrate clear awareness concerning your character, personal qualities, academic capabilities, and special circumstances if applicable. It is difficult to have referees that can evaluate all the characteristics requested. However, when you choose your three referees, ensure that all the subject areas are covered. The Northern Ontario School of Medicine typically conducts admissions interviews in March and April of the year of entrance. The interviews are conducted online. If you're invited for an interview, you'll receive an email with the interview description and details. To get ready for your video interview, make sure to check out our guide to video interviews. Additionally, don't forget to go over our resources on common medical school interview questions, including why do you want to be a doctor and tell me about yourself. You should also review our blog on how to prep for your med school interview to get some pointers on how to get ready. The Northern Ontario School of Medicine selects students for interview based on the following criteria. Grade point average, autobiographical sketch and supplementary questions, and contact score. Each criterion has a score weight of one third. The final selection of applicants for admission is based on a combination of the pre-interview, the interview scores, and a complete file review by the admissions committee. Your referee's confidential assessment forms are reviewed at this point in the selection process too. The Northern Ontario School of Medicine sends out offers of admission to the top 66 candidates by email on the second Tuesday of May of the potential enrollment year. Acceptance will be conditional upon fulfillment of specific requirements, which will be outlined in your offer. If the offer of admission is accepted, you're required to make a non-refundable $1,000 deposit, which will be applied to your year one tuition. Some applicants who are sent an offer of admission do not accept their offer, so NASA maintains a short ranked waitlist for additional offers. If you want to learn how to get off a medical school waitlist, make sure to read our blog post on that topic. The link is in the description. This wraps up our video for today. Check out our blog to learn more about the Northern Ontario School of Medicine. I've included a link in the description of this video so you can find the blog easily. If you would like us to help you with your medical school application, click on the link either above or below this video to schedule your free initial consultation. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, so please subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Speaking of comments, if you have any questions about NOSM that I didn't cover in this video, let us know in the comment section and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.